NXT TakeOver Phoenix is the night before the Royal Rumble, and we've been a little behind on these just because, you know, a little behind on the NXT episodes because of the holidays and stuff like that. But that helps us a little bit because we can do the whole, the whole card in one go, so let's get to it. First off, Matt Riddle versus Cassius Ono. A rematch of the last TakeOver and a rematch of a previous match on the, uh, a couple weeks ago on NXT in the New Year episode of NXT, or the Year End Awards or whatever it was. To where uh, Ono won that match with a low blow. Well, no, I think it was against that was against Keith Lee. He won with a low blow against, but he did beat uh, Riddle. Or no, he, Riddle beat him again. Actually, Riddle beat him again. My mistake. I'm thinking of the Keith Lee match. Um, but Riddle is now magically cleared, and the match can happen again. And I feel this will be a clean sweep for Riddle. Riddle will win once again. Uh, next up, the North America Championship, as Ricochet to get defends against Johnny Gargano. And before we go on, normally with takeovers, we, we think about who's going to get called up, because at the end of the day, many people don't like me saying this, but NXT is technically still developmental. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, at the end of the day, it is still developmental, even though it is like a third or fourth brand, even with the UK brand and all that other stuff, it's, it's been like a third brand for the longest time. But at the end of the day, it still is developmental, and these are people are going to be called at the main roster eventually. But we don't have to worry about that because of the call-ups of EC3, Heavy Machinery, uh, Lars Sullivan, Lacey Evans, and Nikki Storm. Or Nikki Cross, excuse me. Formerly known as Nikki Storm, but, but still. Um, you know, we have a great crop of talent already going to be debuting in, probably in the Rumble. Some of them with EC3 and... Lacey Evans and all those others. But still, you know, it's a great crop of, of talent going in there. But at the same time, um, you know, we don't have to worry about call-ups, even though there could be some last-minute ones after the Rumble. So, like I said, Rick's saying, Gurney Gargano, this match has been going on for a while. Gargano has been using Ciampa's advice, going towards a title, but not the NXT title, but the North American title. And Ricochet and them have been having a little feud over the past few weeks because of that. And it's a great match. Um, I really don't know. Because if you want to bring up Ricochet, you can do that. For that to happen, Gargano would have to win the title. But um, I'm going to say Ricochet wins and Ricochet just stays in NXT for a little longer. Because more than likely, they'll put him in the Cruiserweights. Which isn't a bad thing with his skill set. It's just, you know, not where I feel he should be. Uh, next up, the NXT Tag Titles. The NXT there is uh, Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong defend against the War Raiders. Um, I'm going to say the era retains just because I want to see that moment where the, the NXT era holds all the gold, kind of evolution-like, kind of Four Horsemen-like. I just want to see that. Not that the War Raiders can't win. They could definitely could pull up the upset and win this match. I just don't see it happening. The NXT Women's Championship. Shayna Baszler defends against Bianca Belair. Belair won a qualifying match a little while ago, a fatal four-way match. Um, they also had Io Shirai, uh, Mia Yim, and I believe it might have been Nikki Cross. I don't remember the fourth person. I honestly don't. It might have been Nikki Cross. I don't know. But at the end of the day... Um, this is a great match. Undefeated title versus streak. And the streak continues, in my opinion. Bianca Baylor becomes the new women's champion. Shayna goes with the main roster. If we're going by the old NXT rules here. An NXT championship match. The Tommaso Ciampa defends against Aleister Black, the former champion. T Ciampa retains, and I feel Black goes up to the main roster. Because that's what most NXT champions do. After they one reign, they go to the main roster. But... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Black won, but I just feel Ciampa needs it more. And with that, NXT TakeOver Phoenix is this Saturday, and it's going to be a great night of action, a great card here. Um, maybe another match or two on here would be great, but some of that's going to be for the, um, card after TakeOver on the same night. But we won't go into that just yet.